Virgil, who spent decades in prison for murder before DNA evidence exonerated him. Reporter Taylor Nimmo is live in Newport. And Taylor, you say the city of Newport just finalized a record-breaking settlement for his wrongful conviction. Yeah, Tanya, a $28 million settlement has been finalized with the city of Newport. Now that's $1 million for each year that Virgil was in prison. Today is a moment to celebrate certainly William, you know, fought for 28 years for justice and and today uh, his family, you know, received uh, some measure of justice. But Virgil's lawyer, Elliot Slosser, says today is also bittersweet. William could not live long enough to see justice. William Virgil died last year. Slosser says Virgil's impact will live on. You know, William, as a human being in William's case, um, will have caused significant change in the criminal justice system. Slosser says Virgil's case shined a light on racial injustice. Officers went out of their way to bury evidence that implicated white suspects, and that left them with the ability uh, to prosecute a black man for a crime he didn't commit. Newport city manager tells WCPO, we strongly believe that the Newport Police Department actions and conduct were appropriate and professional. However, we felt it was prudent to settle this case due to the current climate of anti-police sentiment and that the case was over 35 years old. You know, regardless of whatever statement the city of Newport uh, puts out, uh, certainly there isn't a world where the Newport police officers uh, that are on that force today um, are not going to learn lessons from how not to do things uh, from this case. Slosser says there's still work that needs to be done. He says the system is incredibly slow to fix wrongful convictions. You know, the system prioritizes finality with verdicts uh, much more than it does uh, the truth and newly discovered evidence. Um, and uh, William's case is a tragic example of what happens when the system moves too slow. So, yeah, you know, things were fixed here. William was exonerated, um, but he only had six years left of his life. Now, while the settlement is finalized in Newport, there's still a pending lawsuit against Cincinnati and Norwood, who were also involved with the investigation. Reporting live from Newport, Taylor Nimmo, WCPO 9 News. Thank you.